Hey guys, welcome back to Good Times RP. It is now April on the server, which means it is officially time for planting. In the last episode, we got all of our fields worked with our brand new New Holland 9840 here. And uh, it's just a great tractor. It's, it struggled a little bit, but uh, it worked. It did the job. So if you look over here, we did buy ourselves a new planter. It is a DB60. So it should be good. It's a big upgrade from our Kinsey 12 row. Uh, we got it on the 8400. This should have enough horsepower to pull it. Uh, hopefully, we'll see how it goes. We might have to put it on a different tractor, but I'm not sure which tractor we'd put it on, to be honest. This is our biggest tractor besides our four-wheel drive over there, so we might have to get a different tractor if this doesn't work, um, but, it, but it should work. So we got that hooked up. We went through the planter, made sure everything's good, and everything looks good on that, um, but we still have one problem. We don't have any seed whatsoever, so the first thing we gotta do today is hop in the pickup truck and uh, head over to the co-op to pick up some seed. I already got the truck hooked up to the uh, flatbed here. Um, we should have enough space to put all the seed on here, but we've got a pretty big field to plant today, so we'll see if this is enough or not. Oh, and I forgot, we also have uh, Chris's field, that U-shaped hay field that he bought. That still is full of hay bales that we need to pick up so we can feed the cows. I'm not sure if we're going to get to that today or not. We're going to drive by it on the way to the co-op. Um, so we might stop by there, look to see how many bales there actually are. Because I'm assuming there's quite a bit there. And we just, we wrecked. I, I'm i not sure how that happened to be honest. I'm not sure if there, there was a little bit of lag. But I didn't think it was too bad. I had the wheel straight. Uh, nonetheless, we just jackknifed the trailer. I'm sure it's fine. Maybe the trailer's just too big for the truck. Maybe that's it. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna head down to the co-op and I'll see you guys when we get there Yeah, so this field on the left here is the field with all the bales in it. There's a lot left there Chris had started stacking them stacking some of them right there But they're still all over the place throughout that field So we have a ton of alfalfa bales in that field to pick up um, I'm really dreading that job especially since this trailer is not an auto load trailer Maybe I'll do a live stream or something picking up the bales because I feel like that'd be a lot more uh, time worthy time worthy than just sitting here in a recording picking them up but uh we'll see because i because i love picking up bales with like a tractor and loader i just don't know if that's worth it on a recording or not let me know in the comments if you'd rather see a live stream or just a video on it but anyways we are here at the co-op i'm not sure exactly which building their seat is in um i would have thought it would be in there i'm gonna hop out I'm gonna hop out here, see if I can't find it. I know they got a bunch of stuff in here, but they got combines and stuff in here. Looks like this is the seed. Um, I can't get to any of it though. So I'm not sure how I'm supposed to grab it. Yeah, I'll have to call somebody and see exactly how I'm supposed to get the seed. All right guys, so I just got off the phone with William. And he said I was looking on the wrong side of the shed, and uh, of course, right here is a majority of their seed. So the seed I bought are these 16 pallets here. I don't know why they say canola seed. I asked William about it, and he said it got mislabeled or something. So this is my seed. Um, half are corn and half is beans. So I got to figure out what the difference is because they're all labeled uh, canola. So yeah, something happened in packaging that uh, they're all labeled canola, but he he uh, assured me that they are corn and soybeans. So I've got to find their forklift and get that loaded up. And I also purchased four pallets of their liquid herbicide. So we've got these uh, four boxes of liquid uh, fertilizer to uh, pick up and put on the trailer as well. Um, so the trailer's gonna be pretty loaded down. I should be able to fit everything on there, but uh, I got to find their forklift first. I think it's over here actually next to their John Deere lawn tractor. I think I can fit it between the combine. Uh, we'll see. It looks like they already got a box of liquid fertilizer on here. See if I can drop that off right there. That'll do. Do a little first person, see if we can't get these loaded up first person. It's been a while. Uh, what am I stuck on? I'm stuck on air, fantastic. Oh, it's probably the ladder collision when it folds out, if I had to guess. We squeezed through, we're fine. All right, we'll get the seed loaded up first. I think that's probably the best bet. Looks like somebody's here in some spreaders. Not sure who that is exactly. 
All right, we got our seed and we're on our way back to the farm. Uh, $22,000 for that seed seems a bit expensive as uh, apparently I'm stuck. Oh, there's a stop sign. That would do it. That would do it, I guess. I guess it's a pretty uh, sturdy stop sign there. But anyways, we're going to head back to the farm. Uh, yeah, I was saying $22,000 seems a bit much for this seed. Um, and fertilizer. I guess with the fertilizer, it doesn't seem that bad. Um, 16 pallets. Sure, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. So we'll get the 8400 and the DB60 filled up with seed. I'm not sure what field I want to do first. I, I kind of want to tackle the big field first. That's probably the smartest decision just to get that done and over with. Yeah, we'll do that first. I think we got to plant corn there this year. So we'll get the we'll get the planter full of corn. And corn takes fertilizer, so we got to put fertilizer in the planter as well. If we get pulled up here close enough to where we can do fill up both at the same time, right there should be about good. We'll leave this here. Um, it'll be like a central point to fill up with seed if we ever need to fill up with seed again. Uh, we got a lot of seed. We shouldn't run out. Fire up the tractor. Uh, let's fill it full of seed here. Of course, it's taking that random bag, random pallet, whatever. That's about 29%. So we're looking at about four pallets to fill it up. Not that bad, honestly. I thought it was going to be worse. All right, so we're full on the seed. Now we're filling up with fertilizer. I'm not sure how much it's going to take. Okay, so it didn't even take a full pallet. So I think I have plenty for plenty of fertilizer then. All right, we'll, we'll jump in cab here, head out to the field. I know, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I know I'm going the wrong way on the highway. I just realized that it's fine. We're just going to pull up into our driveway. I'm sure it's fine. Nobody noticed. We'll get this thing unfolded. Now, this is going to be the first acres run through this planter because this is a brand new planter from John Deere. So we're, we'll have to check it every, every few uh, acres here just to make sure everything's running smoothly. Um, it's brand new, so it should be fine. Um, we just want to make sure before we plant this whole 100 acre field here and realize that we screwed up and planted something. I don't know, something went wrong. So, good thing is this planter's a lot bigger than our old planter, though. So, we'll get it fired up here, get it lowered down, and corn seed should be going in the ground. And we're running into our first problem, apparently. What the heck is this? I have never had this issue in my life. So the planter, planter seems to be too heavy. That's, that's amazing. So we'll get the planter folded up. We'll get it parked over here out of the way. Maybe if it just, if it wants to. And we're going to have to trade this tractor in. Which is super unfortunate. I really like this tractor. Uh, one of my favorites, honestly. Um, but it's not heavy enough. Which is weird. So, yeah, we're just stuck here. So, we're going to have to go to the dealership and buy ourselves a new tractor. We have 16 grand. We're going to see how this goes. Maybe we can lease one. Maybe they can give us one for demo. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't think the trade-in value on this tractor is going to be enough to where we can buy one of the other tractors. So, we'll see. We'll just drop the planter off right here out of the way. Nate can get to his field if he wants to plant that today. I'm not sure if he's going to or not. It looked like he was spreading lime. So we should be fine. But we're going to run this over to the dealership, see how much they're going give to give us for it. If it's if it's not that much, guys, we're just trying to keep the tractor and ask if we can like demo something for the for the spring here while we get everything planted. Um, yeah, it's just super unfortunate. I really thought this was gonna be able to pull it, but it's obvious it's not gonna work. Uh, hold up. What the heck is this? I tell you, people are a little crazy. That load was not safe whatsoever. It was on a gooseneck trailer. That's that's a lot of weight there, um, and that's a, such a small semi too, which is hilarious. Um, 
yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll read the paper, see if anything happened to them. Uh, wait, we gotta go up here and see how much they're gonna give us. There's some nice tractors here, though. There's nice, some 8Rs, 8030 series. Uh, so we'll park right here next to this Magnum. And we'll see how much they're gonna give us for it. Okay, guys, so we jumped in the menu here, and they're gonna give us about $51,880 for it. So... We'll see some of these price tags for these other tractors. This 8RT is nice, but I know that's way more than $60,000. Um, you've got this Case Magnum back here, which wouldn't be terrible. And this 8530. If we can get a deal on the 8530, I would take it. Is there another one over here? Yeah, there's one right here. I don't know. If I can if I can get a deal on this 8530 here, maybe make some payments or something. That's what I'm going to go for. But let's let's talk to the the guys inside and see what we can do. All right, so we traded in the tractor, that's official, and uh so they said the 8530 here it costs $150,000. So We've got 67, so they say we can put a down payment on and then come pay it at the end of the year after we uh, harvest everything when we have enough cash. So we're going to put a down payment of 50 grand. That way we can uh, use it throughout the year. And then if we can't, if we can't uh, make the payments um, by the end of the year, they're just going to take the tractor back for us and we'll basically lose 50 grand. So we've got to make sure we make 100 grand throughout the year so that we can pay this off. It shouldn't be a huge deal. We should make plenty to be able to afford it, but uh, just uh, we got to be super cautious with this thing since it's not technically ours. I mean, it technically is, but it's still we haven't paid for it in full, so we can't really break it. All right, we just sent them the fifty thousand. We're gonna jump in our new tractor here. It's an eighty-five thirty IVT transmission. It's got a front loader on it, a front loader mount or attacher, which is interesting. But boy, does this thing sound good. I can't wait to uh, be able to purchase this thing after the after harvest and uh, this thing will be officially ours. But dang, this thing does sound good. It's got a lot of horsepower. It should be able to pull that planter no problem. So let's get, the, let's get this thing hooked up and uh, get planting. All right, we're hooked up to the planter here. And guys, I've tried to unfold the markers on this thing, and I have not been able to figure out how in the world you do it. Um, so if anybody has any idea how to unfold the uh, the flashers on this thing, please let me know, on the tractor that is. Because um, yeah, I have no idea. It might be simple IC or interactive control, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I have yet to figure it out. All right, planter is unfolded. We'll turn it on, lower it down. Hopefully, we don't have any problems. If we do, it's definitely the, it's the planter. Are you serious? It's the planter? This is outrageous, bro. Oh my gosh. We'll shut that down. I just bought a new tractor for nothing. It's the planter. Brand new planter. It's full of seed. Okay, we'll hook it back up. Now we got to... Can we unload the seed out of this thing so we don't lose it? Okay, so the wheels are still on the ground. Are we good? We might be good, actually. I don't know what, what happened to why it's working now. Uh, but it's working, so I'm not going to complain, and we are going to go ahead and get planting. Um, this thing actually goes pretty fast, so it goes 10 miles an hour. We are putting on nitrogen. We're putting on nitrogen as well as planting, so that is a good thing. Everything seems to be working good. I'm going to hop out here and look to see what the depths are looking like. All right, looking through here, everything looks to be good depths. Spacing is good. Look here again. Yeah, everything is looking good. We're going to check it again after we do a headland pass just to make sure everything is still good. Um, well, yeah, we should be good to keep going. This thing is fast, too, so that is good. We'll, we'll get everything knocked out pretty quickly here. 
Gosh, I thought I was gonna have to buy a new planter. I didn't, uh, honestly, I don't know what planter I would have gone with. This is about the size I wanted, a 24 row. Um, I don't think we really have any other 24 rows in the game. In, uh, in the server, at least. But thankfully, it's working now. I don't know why. It probably would have worked with the 8400, thinking about it now. I don't know what I did. Maybe I just did something wrong. But it's working now. That's all that matters. Roll the time lapse. time of your life I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire I want to lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck I guess that this is what they call love here for this field it didn't take very long we had to stop in the middle there and get the uh, planter refilled with seed I'm sure you guys saw that in the time lapse um, actually we are gonna miss a little section there we'll have to go back for it really quickly here but yeah this planter is really nice after we got it working I'm not sure why or what the problem was in the beginning there but everything's working now it takes a while to lower down I'd notice so I had to back up a few times but uh, other than that the thing works like a charm We've got three more fields to do, so we're going to head over and plant the next cornfield. And honestly, I might end it here, guys, just because uh, I don't want to throw too many time lapses at you. Uh, so I'll probably end it here. I'll finish the rest of the planting off of camera here. And uh, in the next episode, we might be doing some, some side dressing, or maybe we'll get back to some uh, making some hay and stuff like that for our cows, because... We haven't done that in a while, and uh, I think it'd be fun. I also could do a live stream sometime this week, probably Thursday. I don't know when this video goes out. Probably Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday or Thursday this video goes out. So I might do a live stream Thursday night if everything goes well. So keep a lookout for that. I might do some planting. I might do some bailing. Who knows? But yeah, 
just keep a lookout for that and uh thank you guys so much for watching this episode here on good times rp uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one thanks guys